Can't get enough of Kelly and Rumya? We're now on YouTube for you to indulge in highlights from our show. Mary, I've been telling people that you're going to share 10 surprising kitchen items that you can clean and toss into the uh, dishwasher. Now, I've been saying toss into because that's the way that I think of people with dishwashers. You know, just <laughs> toss it in and don't have to worry Clean about it. Clean up the it. broken glass later. <laughs> you don't have to worry about all the cleaning and actual washing of things like I do because I don't have a dishwasher. But you know what I mean, right? Gently place in your dishwasher mm. for it well, to do it. I thing. didn't have a dishwasher until I moved into this current home. So for the most part of my life, I did not have a dish. My dishwasher were my hands. Yep. Um, right. So we as soon as I got the dish, right, as soon as I got the dishwasher, I'm like, what can I do with this thing? Yeah. <laughs> and then now you're here. You're not gatekeeping. You're here to tell us what we can throw into our dis dishwashers. And besides I, the I, obvious. I, yes, Kels? I, I find this fascinating, Mayor, because it's a huge thing where people, you know, as you buy something dishwasher mm -hmm. friendly, right? Like, mm -hmm. or this good. And there's so many things that I, I hear about, oh, I bet you can't throw that in the dishwasher. Oh, I, and I've thought about this all my life because, of you know, you get your fears of what you can wash, how to wash clothing, how to yeah. wash the, read the label, and you think the same of dishwashing material. So mm -hmm. it's easier just wash it with your hands, right? But what brought this to you to say, yeah, I'm going to do this? Is it just because Mary, too, too, was saying the same thing? Or is it what people have brought to your door about it? So it's a bit of both. It's what people have brought to my door. So a lot of questions around it. But... Honestly, for the most part, it's because if I'm going to spend that money, that amount of money mm. on an appliance, I needed right. to do multiple, a multitude of things. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to do that. So to me, I just started thinking about the high temperatures in the dishwasher and what else can we do with this? And, yeah. and, and how can it be useful to sanitize and to clean other items within our household, our kitchen, uh, and for us? Might as well, right? right? It's kind of like you can treat mm -hmm. it like your laundry a bit yeah. if you start thinking of it this way but besides the obvious what are other things that we can clean in the dishwasher because i'm i'm thinking of you know just dishes and dishwasher safer dishwasher friendly things but i also right. thought about like can we take apart our blender or <laughs> food processor yeah. or something like that yeah so well absolutely us. i mean everything everything so despite its name dishwashers they can clean more than just your dishes right and and your cutlery and we know this now because I'm actually going to share a lot of them with you today. But not only does it spare us that tedious time of washing by hand, um, which honestly, sometimes I do find it therapeutic, not going to mm -hmm. lie. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I said sometimes, not always, <laughs> and not, <laughs> not most of the time. Um, but it, you know, this is another way to use it and how to sanitize and and it really does change. It's a game changer in the world of household chores. So I mean, especially when it comes to sponges. So if you use sponges to clean your dishes, chances are they are in need of a deep clean. Now, you wouldn't think this, but it does. Because like damp sponges, they can be a breeding ground for bacteria. Right. So between washes, yeah, yeah. Between washes, you want to rinse your sponges out after each use and then wring them out well, store them somewhere where they can dry. You don't want to store them in the kitchen sink itself. You want them to air dry and dry up completely. So, and then each time you wash a load of dishes, Place that kitchen sponge in the top rack of the dishwasher and then do that drying cycle on, let everything go. The appliance will do the work for you and I'll sanitize that. Wow. Next, this one was interesting for me because I wouldn't have thought of it. Glass light fixtures because they, they also need a deep cleaning. So from time to time, if you take them down, pop them into the dishwasher if their glass is removable, if the glass covers can be removed put them into the dishwasher, normal cycle, they come out squeaky clean. So you don't really have to get in there, worry about it. Um, this one was one of my favorites because it's the baking silicone mats. So those silicone baking mats oh, that we so use that you put on those rim baking, right? Yeah, um, but well, I, yeah. I just, they're so greasy, yeah. yeah. They're so hard to clean, mm -hmm. um, especially if you're cleaning it by hand. Mm -hmm. So, and if you've got greasy or sticky foods on it, it could be a pain. If you drape that mat over the top row of prongs on the top rack of the dishwasher, run that normal cycle, they come out good as new. Hmm. Other Honestly, silicone? I've tried it. And then silicon and oven mitts. So oven mitts Same thing. and trivets, yeah. right? So all that, all that stuff, anything that's silicone, um, place these items on the top rack of your dishwasher because it'll remove any food residue or any of that little pesky bacteria that might be hanging out on your oven mitts. 
Now, I didn't know that I could pop them into my dishwasher, the oven mitts themselves. The trivets I've done, right. but the oven mitts I had, and I tried did, it. Did, did you wonder fabulous. because of, uh, did you wonder because of the heat or what made you stop? Because well, it is so funny, right? Because it's not going to be any hotter than a, a you know laundry machine, but handles it in a totally different way because of the racks. Exactly. That, that's what it is. It was it was more of in the laundry. I know it's going into the wash, into the dryer, um, in the dishwasher. I was just a little skeptic on how mm. dry will they become or how clean will yeah. they become? Because the oven mitts that I have are oven gloves. They're not mitts right. Um, right. because I need those extra fingery things, you know, my fingers to be covered. And this way I can use them a little better and right. grasp so the, the place the that I'm ones? out. But the silicone ones. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then refrigerator shelves and bins. This one I thought was really neat because you can, again, scrub them by hand. Um, but it can get a little tricky. But if you want, you can put them in the dishwasher. So smaller shelves, they'll fit standing up just like your plates do in the dishwasher. But the bigger shelves, you might need to lay them maybe across the rack. Lay them flat across the rack and then run your cycle. They'll work beautifully. Right. Microwave turntables. We all know what these can be like. Mm -hmm. So cleaning the microwave turntable in the sink could be a pain just because of the size. It depends. Um, luckily, most of them are dishwasher safe. So to get rid of any of the food splatter, any grime, put the dishwasher, put them in the dishwasher, um, just like you would any other plate, and then run that cycle. Have you ever cleaned your exhaust fan filters and your oh, covers? I was hoping you would to add this and like as we were going through the list i was like maybe this as well all the greasiest oh. things in our kitchen oh that is the <laughs> worst thing to touch yeah. and it's just it's like almost like you think am i going to be able to remove my hand so nasty. From this? can i just throw that whole compartment into the dishwasher yeah oh, absolutely. my hood my entire hood <laughs> so, the whole hood goes in <laughs> i need, a, I need an industrial sized right? dishwasher for right? the things that i'm going to be tossing in there uh, Ma'am, uh, you pulled this right off the wall and everything yeah. like that. Uh, yeah, I had to put Can my I... feet up on the on the stove and yank. Can I bring my dishwasher to the hood? Okay, now yeah, that's right. Probably, it'll be clean, and then how do we connect it now? All right. Uh, we hang out with Mike Fair enough. We'll get Doesn't... ideas from some some yeah. fantasy book to turn the, the kitchen inside out and put the whole thing in right. the, the the machine. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's one of those items that we we tend to forget about or we don't check as often. Um, but they are they do need to be cleaned. And most exhaust fans have like either remo removable and washable filters. So you can right. take that out, put them into the dishwasher, run your cycle. It's perfect for degreasing because of that high temp heat cuts right through. Mm. Cutting boards. Now we know this. We know cutting boards can be cleaned anywhere, anyhow. But the best way to clean it is if you have um, a dishwasher. Because these cutting boards, especially if you're cutting meat, they can harbor any bacteria from meats, uh, anything. And if you don't wash them thoroughly. Um, so that dishwasher kind of helps in that matter because the temperatures and the detergent that's used in the dishwasher, it disinfects and it effectively disinfects and removes yes. any bacteria from those cutting boards. I yeah. do want that, to mention. That's where your little hands, Merrick, just can't do the trick. Sorry, go ahead. You yeah, want to mention? It's true. It's especially my mine are freakishly strong and freakishly small, so they can't. Oh, I can man. get into like the little nooks and crannies, but I can't really get well, in. Well, and that's the thing. And I think we think the magic of your your dishwashing soap is going to take care of it, but unfortunately, like you said, the heat is so crucial. That's right, and it just it eliminates any of that bacteria that's lingering around. I wouldn't put my wood cutting boards into the dishwasher. Um, I do want to mention that because sometimes the moisture during that long washing cycle, it, it, it's not easy to dry and it can warp and splinter and then eventually maybe break the cutting board. Hmm. So that, yeah. So I wouldn't use Makes that sense. for any poultry or uh, any types of meat or anything. Mary, we have like two minutes. Rapid fire two some minutes. of these items. Oh, cabinet drawer and hardware. That is that is so cool because when I heard of it, I thought, no way. If you the you know the handles on your cabinets, if they are a little greasy, a little sticky, take them off your cabinet doors, pop them into the dishwasher, either into that utensil holder or in a mesh bag on the top rack. Oh yeah, perfect. Just run awesome. them through. But if they're hand painted, do not put them in because no. you don't want the paint okay. to come off. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> and oh, oh, Mary. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mary, what about the can opener? More? Mm -hmm. I yes, want to mention the can, the can opener because that is just crazy. 
can opener, they're intricate cutting mechanisms, right? It could be challenging to clean, especially by hand. So the dishwasher gets right in there. Again, those temperatures disinfects, gets eliminates any of those food particles that may be stuck in those um, in that mechanical area. Look, I'm already I'm mechanical area. One of those, whatever the terminology is, that's where they're going to get stuck. Okay. Um, the dishwasher does remove that and it cleans them beautifully and disinfects. Um, of operation. Mm-hmm. It just makes it hassle-free. Wow. Yeah. Mm. All the baby it, items, it, it, we know, pacifiers, yeah. teething all of rings. That, all, of that, all of that. All toothbrush holders can go in. Uh, switch plates of your outlet covers. Now, Kelly, you have you ever put your baseball cap in here? I don't wear baseball caps. Adorable? Not unless I, I have. I've, no, no. Mm. I, 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 I don't know. My head doesn't look great in them. Mm. Mary? I think, we no. need to, I think we need to have Kelly in a baseball cap. Yeah, oh, number God, one. That's awful. And that then doesn't look pretty. <laughs> clean it with the uh, <laughs> dishwasher. Can't do, I can't do the fedoras, but you baseball caps you can do? You can, absolutely. You can get wow. caps, um, these cap clamps from Amazon, um, and they protect the shape of it. Pop them into your dishwasher on the top rack, run it through. It works up perfectly. And then just allow the hat to air dry after. Okay. Fun. Good as new. That's amazing. What but a I feel list. like I wouldn't draw the line, though. I'd be like, okay, now socks can go in the dishwasher and <laughs> shoes. And oh, before you know it, we got to get them. <laughs> now dishwasher. I can sell this washing machine. <laughs> yeah, I don't flip need flip it anymore. <laughs> yeah, flip flops. Those rubber oh, flip flops okay. can go in. Uh, they if can go in. going in my dishwasher, then I, I, I don't know. Oh, your boot I mat. Like get rid of all the salt on it. You know, your boot mat. <laughs> See if it, uh, See Frank messes up dragging your in the car mats. Okay. That's right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Rumya. Rumya taking up the oh, mat at the, win- the winter mat that they put yeah, down yeah. at the front door of the building. Let's <laughs> fix this up, too. We've gone past the point of actual advice, up. and now we're just like, don't, <laughs> don't do this. Uh, don't what do not any to of put that. in the dishwasher. Yeah. No, no. Mary, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Mary Mamaliti, you can go to Kitchen Confession. Dot com. There's more discussion up there. There's a lot of uh, blogging from Mary as well as recipes and everything else. And also, if you search for Kitchen Confession on your favorite podcast platform, you will find that podcast as well. Lots of entertaining stuff with Mary and all things in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. You can catch Kelly and Rumya weekdays from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern on AMI.